the latest findings paint an extremely concerning situation. Uh, and when we think about the north of Gaza, where the situation is the most uh, precarious, the latest analysis tells us that famine is imminent in the period between now and May in the north of Gaza. That means when we look at the trajectory of food security and nutrition statistics, we're facing a catastrophic uh, situation in technical terms. In the south of Gaza, the situation has also worsened, and there we maintain the projection of famine likely. So indeed, this damage has been uh, quite uh, significant. We estimate, just to use some examples, when it comes to livestock losses, obviously this is a sector that we're very concerned about. It's indispensable for the livelihoods and the survival of families in Gaza. We estimate that 60% uh, of the milk cows uh, have been uh, killed, are gone. Um, and then when it comes to meat uh, production, uh, that uh, meat cattle, as much as 70% of the stock uh, has been killed. And when it comes to small ruminants, so goats and sheep, that that percentage is about 60%. So these are large percentages, and significant percentages of livestock, both for dairy and for meat, have gone. It also tells us that some livestock is still alive and can be supported and indeed needs to be urgently supported, which is why this is at the heart of FAO's response to urgent livelihood needs in the Gaza Strip. We currently have approval to move in 1,500 metric tons of animal fodder. It's vital uh, that we focus on everything around keeping livestock alive, which is about both ensuring access to milk for families and particularly for uh, children who are malnourished at, or at risk of malnourishment, as well as, of course, access to protein. That's a key component. Beyond that, nutritious foods, vegetables, these are things that are almost now uh, absent in the markets and we really need to see how that can be strengthened. A key message from FAO's side that we've made in the past at the very highest levels and that we keep repeating is that peace is a prerequisite to food security and the right to food is a basic human right. This needs to be kept in mind by all stakeholders.